Hello, hello, Leo. Okay, so I had recorded this, but apparently because the camera that I'm using, it has like a security feature on my tablet that when it pops up as a notification, it stops my recording. And I don't know this is happening until I go to stop recording. So I do not want to redo your reading because this is the message that came out for you. So I redo it. I feel like I'm erasing messages that are meant for you. So I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to go over everything that I said. You guys watch my videos. You've subscribed. Um, for those of you that are my regulars, you know how I do things. So, you know, I don't pull things and put them out. Uh, if you're new and you're watching, my apologies. Go check a previous reading just so that you see this is not the norm. But I do like to give the messages that were meant to be out for this week. So I'm just gonna go through this again and record it for you guys to see. Let me just double check that it's not messed up this time. Okay, we're good. All right, so I pulled three cards. Well, I should say my guides sent out three cards from the tarot, okay. I shuffled, I did the whole shebang. So we got the death card, the five of pentacles, and the seven of wands, okay. So, you're dealing with some kind of ending. Someone's feeling left out in the cold or on the outside looking in. And Seven of Wands, they're feeling defensive or you're feeling defensive. So it's a general reading. It's however it resonates with you in your world. It could be love, uh, career, work, family, friends, however this resonates. Okay, so you're dealing with some kind of ending and you or the person you're dealing with is feeling left out in the cold and someone is feeling defensive okay so just apply that to how it relates in your life and if it doesn't relate then that's okay this reading is just not for you okay so the messages that came through from the crystal oracle deck we have letting go so you need to let go with this death card with the ending here it's time to just release what is no longer needed Okay, with teacher here, for some of you, you need to teach this person a lesson or you needed to learn to finally get to this point to let go, okay? With inner child, I'm feeling for some of you, somebody may have been in an immature state here and they weren't just growing up and really grasping what you needed them to grasp, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. With forgiveness here, this person may be coming in trying to get forgiveness from you, but you have the divine on your side. You've also learned a lot with this experience, so you have a lot more wisdom, okay? You do need some heart healing. So if it's up to you if you want to forgive this person or not, okay? And then with music here, if this is work, it could be something in the music industry. If... um. If it's not work related, it could just be you listen to music in order to um, calm down, to think, to gain clarity. You could be listening to mantras. This could also be like ASMR, whatever it is that you do to aid in your heart healing. Okay, this person, if it's a love relationship, may also be sending you songs and stuff like that. Okay, so however music makes sense to you. Okay, and then from the... Archangels and the animals. Okay, so I got here giraffe. Aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. Archangel Jophiel. Okay. So this I also see you holding your head up high. Like the tall neck of a giraffe. And aspiring to higher knowledge. So we have here teacher. You're, you've learned a lot from this. And wisdom where you're wiser from this experience. Okay. Tiger, accept your magnificence, Archangel Raphael. Also, please look up these archangels and spirit animals for further messages. Okay, then we have Cat here. Be relaxed and independent, Archangel Raphael. So that's two for Archangel Raphael. Okay, and you are a Leo. I had also said this before. Um, Leo's the lion, but you got Cat and Tiger here. So uh, this feline... And this also reminds me here with this orange and the cat. I, I see Bastet. So you can also look up Bastet. Uh, it's Egyptian goddess. Um, just a lot of feline energy here. Okay. Just a lot of fierce 
and I'm also getting like a cat has nine lives, like you will bounce back. That's the energy I'm feeling here. Okay, Ladybird, accept happiness and good fortune, Archangel Premanilac. So in other words, happiness and good fortune will come your way. Okay, just trust that the universe is guiding you in the right direction and is looking out for you. Okay, because we have that here, balance, sprout, uh, balance excuse me, spirituality and practicality that came out with the Moonology deck. But I will get to that too. Okay, so Panda, stay balanced and in your essence. Archangels Mary, Jophiel, and Sandal Fawn. Okay, so you are very smart. You're well-rounded and you will be able to keep this together. But you have to let go of what no longer serves you so your heart can heal and you can move forward. Okay, so balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. You may be dealing with the Pisces. Also, based on when you watch this, it's a um, timeless reading. Check to see when full moon in Pisces is because that timing might be relevant to you. Then we have two new moon cards here. Expect powerful change, but it's going to be good change based on the oracle cards that came out. And prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. You may also be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. But there's two new moons here, so that new moon phase is going to be very relevant to you. Okay, then I pulled some initial cards for you. So we have GM. So I was saying somebody could be a general manager in a music venue or something like that, or just a general manager of something. Uh, also, I see DM. It could be somebody that's a district manager. MD, somebody may be a doctor of some kind. Um, also, I'm seeing like um, good morning, GM, good day, um, so it, like something in the daytime may be relevant. Could be morning or midday. I'm also seeing a DJ. So with DJ here and music, that could be relevant. Also gym. Somebody may be going to the gym and working out. Okay, so write these letters down, G, M, D, V, Y, J, T, also J, T, that's actually coming through with initials as well. Okay, and let's see, when you pull those and you uh, meditate on those, what messages come through to you? I'm just going to put this over here. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards here from the Alice in Wonderland deck. Let's see, what other messages do we have for Leo? Okay, any other messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this reading? Okay. Thank you. We got... Never jam today. Promises that never come to be empty words, not living in the now. Okay, so with this person, like I said, that you, for some of you may be dealing with, because this is a general reading, it doesn't have to just be about love, it could be about work, family, or friends. Okay, so here, promises never come to be empty words. Okay, so the person you're dealing with, if you feel they were immature, they're just a lot of talk. Okay, this could be at work too. Just somebody that's a lot of talk, they make a lot of promises, they don't follow through on anything, and you're tired of it, so you're like, you know what, I'm done. Okay, let's see, any other, oh, that's a pretty card. Okay, any other messages from the Alice in Wonderland deck? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Okay, so this is what the universe is telling you, Leo. Drop the baggage and the bullshit and live your life because life is short. You are fierce. You got that 
that feline, like I said, nine lives. You'll get through this and you'll be just fine. Expect powerful change. This is a powerful time for you. So if you can follow through with letting go, whatever it is that you need to let go, it's going to certainly benefit you in the long run. Okay. Okay. So that's all I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Many blessings, peace, and love, and I will see you in the next reading.